Hi, I'm Shristi and this is part two of the mean stack transition plan video. Um, we're moving from our 30 day mean stack app that we created during the challenge across to the 0.4 app structure. So that's um, what we're doing in, in this video. We're going to focus on the customers module and the process to move everything across into the new app. So it should be um, pretty nice and easy. Um, I'll try and go relatively um, quickly, but kind of slow down and explain um, the key pieces as we go. So we're going to start off by looking at the customer client file. So I'll just pop them open. Um, just open up uh, modules and customers. So we've got a nice clean um, customer module over here. And over here, we're going to go to public, um, down to modules and customers over here. Because so I may have a few more folders than what you um, have set up as part of the main app challenge, uh, because I did end up going back and splitting up some of the files that I created there. Um, if you don't have that, that's absolutely fine too. So we're going to kick off with the config file. So start off at the very top here um, and just look at the customer client routes and just pop that open here. So you can see that we've got um, a few more routes here that were created as part of the um, the generator. So I'm going to get rid of them. A couple of things that I do want to point out though is um, you'll notice here that the uh, the states have been set up um, a little bit differently um, than you may have remembered when, when we set up the module initially in the, in the previous version or as part of the 30 day challenge. Um, what we've got here is um, an abstract view or a sort of a high level um, view that uh, is a really good example of a way to have um, a kind of nested views using the UI router um, and using um, that, that process. So what we're going to do is, um, is actually get rid of this first bit altogether. So that, that's going to go. Um, and we're just going to start off with um, customers as our customers list. So um, I'm actually going to get rid of most of these and I'll just leave it there. So a couple of things that we need to make sure we do. So I'm just going to put customers here as our um, link and um, I'm going to change this up. So. You, th this syntax of customers.list is necessary when you're using abstract views, but not necessary um, when you're just using a single view. And I will go into that in more detail because that's um, something that can be a little bit confusing um, when you're first getting your head around it. Um, the references to the templates should be more or less the same. So that's fine. We're going to leave that as it is there. So that's um, the first cab of the rank. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is uh, the controllers. So I'm just going to close up config. I'm actually going to close that as we go so that we've got a nice clean environment to work with. Um, we we'll start off with the client controller. Copy across everything from here and plug it into this controller here. So that's now going to be a complete reference. And these other two. I'm just going to copy them and paste them in. Cool. Um, so now that we've done that, we just move down into the CSS. Um, so same deal, just can copy that. So you can copy and paste. Um, directives can do the same thing there. So copy and paste that in there um, services um, so let's see that's got references to the right um, view so we'll leave that one as it is um, and notify copy that and paste that in cool Okay, so now we're going to move uh, down to the views. So I'll actually just close these up. So clean them up. There's a few different ways to do this. Um, what I'm going to do is, so we've got the create uh, customer um, 
client view here. I'm going to actually delete that. Um, I'm going to do the same with edit. And I'm going to do the same with view. The list customers, I'm going to just copy it across. I'm just going to copy uh, everything from here, move that across here. And the rest of the views, I'm going to just copy them across in the actual files across. So uh, copy that and paste those two in. And same deal with the last one here. So copy that, paste that into. Cool. Um, now that we've got the views across, that's more or less it for the um, the client side of the module. Um, the next thing I want to do is have a look at the server side. Um, and the key thing is, um, you've probably already realised, what we haven't done is actually set up the model yet. So um, just pop that open so we can go to server, um, we'll go to models so we can open up the model. We can see that by default um, we've only got the three fields that are set up but what we need is the rest of them. So um, go up to app in the previous um, version, go to models um, and just jump into customer server model and what we're going to do is grab um, the customer schema here. So you can just copy um, pretty much the whole thing there. So copy that and I'm going to paste it over here, just over the top of that. Okay, and save that. Okay, so at this point we should be ready to actually start up our app and, um, and uh, give it a little bit of a run. We're just going to pop this open and just double click on default, start up, go. All right, cool. So the app is up, and um, there you go. There's our app. I'm just going to sign in. Um, one thing you will notice is that uh, we've got now these social accounts that have appeared at the top here. Um, if you want to change those, uh, the way to do that is if you go into users, uh, client views. Um, you'll notice that we actually have another view here, which is the authentication client view. And this is uh, one example that is available of the way that the UI router um, kind of works, or Angular router kind of works. Um, but that's, you know, if you wanted to get rid of all of these uh, social links at the top here, you can, it's just as easy as just sort of changing up um, the authentication.client.view. Um, but we can go ahead and log in. Uh, so a couple of things that you'll notice once you log into the app now, um, we've got this nice little um, round usery kind of icon there. Um, we've got uh, the ability to manage social accounts as well as um, change profile pictures. So if you have a project where you're doing uploads, um, uploads of documents or images and things like that, you can have a good look at the example there. Uh, we'll jump across, uh, we've got a chat module as well, so if you've um, got a couple of people connected at the same time, um, you can chat to them. Um, and obviously we've got our customers module, ah, and that is not working at the moment because I've changed the reference between um, the, the routes and the um, the menu so I'll just fix that up so if I jump to the customers client routes what I've got here is a state of list customers config um, I'm going to change customers list to list customers and I'm just going to get rid of um, the create customers sub menu okay so if I go to list customers now it does show me my list of customers. Here's my list. I'm going to create a new customer. There's the new dude. I should be able to update the customer.
There we go. Um, so I hope that helped. Um, there's a lot of really cool and interesting things you can do with the new structure. Um, once you're comfortable and familiar with it, you'll find that it actually um, does make it easier for you to um, develop your apps. Uh, I've been using it for a little while now and I'm actually um, pretty impressed with it. So um, I hope that helped. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out bossable.com for more details and I'll see you again very soon.